everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm John Sable. And I'm Serena Fazan. We begin tonight with that stunning news rocking the world of baseball and the Bay Area. Today, the Coast Guard discovering the body of Miami Marlins pitcher Jose Fernandez. Investigators saying the 24-year-old and two of his friends died early this morning off the coast of Miami Beach after a boating accident. The Marlins tweeting this photo earlier in his memory. We're told Fernandez was a passenger in that boat that crashed into the rocks. And none of the three men on that boat were wearing life jackets. Divers discovered two of the bodies under the boat and the third man on the rocks. And the investigation is ongoing tonight, but FWC says alcohol does not appear to be a factor. Fernandez was born in Cuba, but he moved to Tampa in 2008, graduating from Alonzo High School in Hillsborough County. Jake Peterson is there live tonight. And Jake, friends and former teammates are devastated by this news. Yeah, they really are. You know, he was a baseball legend here. He really refined his game right over here on the baseball field here at Alonzo until 2011 when he graduated. Shortly after, he was drafted by the big leagues. Hey, go! Before Jose Fernandez was in the national spotlight. One, two, three inning for Jose Fernandez. He was a, um, an all-star dominant pitcher here. He was striking people out as an Alonzo Raven. Nate Hahn won a state championship with Fernandez five years ago. He glowed. Everyone looked at him because he was he was so aggressive and and so he put all his heart into the game. He was throwing 90 miles an hour when he was, you know, in eighth grade, ninth grade. And nobody was surprised when this all-star ace was called up to the majors. Everyone from here, even if they were Rays fans from anywhere else, they would they would still be a Miami fan because of Jose. We're like family to him. You know, he was like family to us. Former school resource officer Wayne Crowell remembers talking baseball with Fernandez in the hallway. And he even came back uh, after he made the Marlins and just to come and see us. He was just a good kid. He's just full of life. He's just amazing pitcher. He's probably one of the best I've ever seen. And it was just a joy to have him here. And his professional family across the state feels the same way. Sadly, the brightest lights are often the ones that extinguish the fastest. Jose left us far too soon, but his memory will endure in all of us. Which seems to be true for anyone who shared the field with Jose Fernandez. This is hard because he impacted so many people. If you were against him on his team, a lot of my friends, they, uh, and they're hurt by it. Back here live, funeral arrangements are still pending. His friends and former teammates plan to hold a vigil here later this week. We'll keep you posted on when that will happen. Reporting live here in Hillsborough County, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News. Just heartbreaking. Several major league baseball teams held a moment of silence for Fernandez. Here you see the Red Sox honoring him, the New York Mets, Baltimore Orioles, and the Detroit Tigers also all pay tribute. It's a tragic story.